All right, everybody. Hey, how's it going? Well, huh. Whoa. All right, okay. Jokes aside, my name is Jaden Eric Bodwin. Thank you for joining me. Today, we are making a bike wagon for this vibraphone. Before we get started, some backstory. There's another video I made where I took my bike and wagon to the top of an abandoned parking garage and played during sunset, which was very, very sweet. I'll put a link up in the corner so that you can all see. It's a great wagon, and the problem is that it's not big enough for this guy, which is the Malatech Omega Vibes. So I looked around online and ended up finding this company, Wike, which is the walk and bike company, and they're in Ontario, Canada. And really awesome company. They make all sorts of different strollers and things like that for people walking and biking, mobility aids, wagons, cargo trailers, etc. So what I ordered from them is their high-walled DIY wagon kit. And this basically comes with all of the corner connecting pieces for the frame, but we're going to go to the hardware store tomorrow and buy all the wood and then put it together. This wagon is going to be pretty big. It's going to be five feet long and two feet wide. With the wheels on, it's going to extend to about 30 inches wide. So we'll unbox this thing and then we'll go to the hardware store tomorrow and we can start to do the assembly and see if this crazy idea is going to work. All right, let's go to it. Here's my box from Wake. Now remember, if you're gonna put stuff online, block out your address, because you don't want people creeping you. Anyways, let's get opening this. I'm gonna grab some scissors. Oh, ha ha. All right. Box isn't too heavy. Unboxing video. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. These tires are beefy. 20 by 1.75. Okay, we've got some corner piece attachments. Okay, we got our other wheel. Sweet. Recommended inflation pressure. 40 to 65 PSI. This is what we use for the intruders in our house when they come and rob us. Good. Metal support beam. Well, I needed a slightly longer beam. Alright, we've got our hitch arm. Here we have one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connector pieces. Keep the garbage organized. Okay, it's all of the nuts and bolts. And that's everything. So now we're going to go get some one inch square aluminum tubing. That's going to fit in these. We're going to get that. We're also going to get one quarter inch plywood for the walls of the wagon, and we're going to get three-eighths of an inch for the bottom of the wagon. Once we get all that, we should be good to build. So that'll be a job for tomorrow when I go get all the hardware. So we're here in the garage, and I'm just going to get everything sorted, so come on and join me. It's day two. We have all our wood, all our metal, and it's it's kind of a crummy day. It's really rainy, so I think it's a good day to build a wagon. Let's venture into the cave. So here I've laid out all of the wood and metal that I bought and cut. I bought five pieces of aluminum square tubing. They come in eight foot long segments, and they're one inch wide. 1 16th inch thick. Moving on to the wood, we have two 2x2 two two panels and two 5x2 two panels. Those are each 1 quarter inch thick plywood and then we have one 5x2 panel that is half inch thick plywood and that will be for our bottom. We're just going to get reset up so that you can have a better view. Here's kind of a bummer. There's not a lot of space, so I don't have space for a workbench. I'm going to work on the floor like a true peasant. So we're going to start with the bottom first. Side. Alright. Oh, this 
fits together great. Howdy. Oh, sweet. Everybody say hi to my postman. Hello. I discovered a error when I was talking to my mailman friend. I had these facing up. This should be sideways. We're gonna fix that and we're gonna carry on. How to make a workbench on a budget with some spare wood and some chairs that you got lying around. Now you've got a rickety table. Congratulations. I was confused. The bolts and things don't seem to line up. And I think what they really want you to do is drill through this other side of the plastic where there's no hole. There's a hole on this side, but not on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And hopefully, this doesn't make a big catastrophic failure. Nothing like DIY and DIY. Do it yourself. That's what that stands for, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. That's. from the tabletop workstation. We're gonna to go to the ground so we can assemble the corner supports. All right, we're getting there. We're lured in. Perfect, yeah. Alright, let's build that top. Why waste any time here? bummer for you. You gotta use wood for these walls. I mean, you don't have to use wood, but they don't give you any wood screws. And plywood sucks to drill through, so you gotta get your own wood screws. I think we're gonna try a different technique. Ooh, crappy wood. Basically put it on another piece of wood and just drill through both. But first, I need to mark my holes. Reset. And now my wagon is a table. That was so easy. Too big. Ok, 
Okay, everybody, it was really hard getting those walls on. I just stopped and cutting a centimeter off. So here we go. Pretty much done. We're going to attach our tow bar and our wheels. Then we're going to go to the hardware store and pick up some L brackets to reinforce these panels and make sure they're really solid. In theory, this should be an easy job. Hopefully it is tow cable. We just got to drill a hole. I guess that's easy. We should make sure that the wheel has clearance before we do too much more. Let's get our bike ride. So much clearance. This thing's gonna go real wide when it turns. Okay, perfect. Let's put the wheels on. Wheel number one. Number two. All right, wagon time. Before we get too carried away, we have two things to do. I already mentioned getting the L brackets the wheels. We're going to slide them back a tad. Whoops. That feels way more balanced. We're going to go to the hardware store. We're going to pick up about a dozen L brackets, attach them, test ride. All right. We're back from the hardware store. It's a little colder now, so I put on my tube. Let's get on these L brackets, folks. So we're going to install one bracket. Uh, at the top on each corner. Then we're going to do two for each side panel and one for each end piece down at the bottom. Let's do it. I don't even think I'm going to drill holes. I'm just going to fire these screws in. It's so tiny. This is going to make the outside of the wagon a little more aggressive. Ooh. side. Decided to take off the wheels for this part so that it doesn't roll anywhere. Everything's installed now. We've got supports, we've got braces, we've got the beams, we've got the frame, and obviously the wood and everything. I'm gonna put the wheels back on, then I'm gonna load this up. We can't take a test drive, it's still monsooning outside, so. As you can see, it's not too nice out here. Nice tree, but. Let's toss those wheels back on. Man, can you hear those sirens? Woo. What a beauty. Let's turn it around so we can see. Oh, 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 turning is a problem. We need to clean up here, okay? Let's do a clean up. Takes care of Mr. Drill. Only one thing left to do, sweep everything. I can hear you in the comments right now. Shaden, why are you sweeping your garage? It's a garage. Well, because there's a ton of bikes in here and it's metal filings. And that's not good for your bike. Just clean it up, okay? It looks nice. Look how nice and tidy that looks. Way better. Okay, everybody, it's a good day. It's nice, and we have a concert today. It's been about a week since I built the wagon. I've taken it on one test ride to a gig, and we've got another gig. This one's a little bit farther. It's about nine kilometers away. Now, here's our cargo. Not too, too much, 
but let's go check a look at this wagon. All right, let's load this thing up. First, we're gonna attach it, and then I'm gonna bring out all the cases. It's happening. I don't have to use my lowest gear very often, but man, this is tiring. Jeez. At least it's smooth sailing from here. Got a lot of bike paths. We'll see you when we get to the gig. We decided where we're gonna set up. everybody that was the product review for the white DIY high-sided bike trailer hope you enjoyed it I think it's a great wagon definitely a good investment 10 out of 10 would do again the flexibility with your spacing is amazing the concert I played big success if you want to check out more from sticks and stone you can check them out they have a YouTube Instagram and Facebook page I'll put links to all of them in the description as well as links to the white bike trailer and I hope you have a good rest of your day.